Hello everybody, Sheba Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we got bad news that Chocolat was kidnapped by the designs. Uh, but we also heard more bad news that the... Um, we found out that the... Statue, spiritual statue that Kotan at Hakanesia Peak wanted was dropped in Photogeyser. Uh, uh, so we don't have to do this now, but actually I don't even think you really need to do it at all. I don't know if you can continue the storyline without doing this, but we're going to go head on over to Photogeyser and pick up the spiritual statue ourselves. So this is the dock that we can use to get over, because Thodegeyser is on an island. Yeah, just like the guy says, and we have another dog around here as well that we can name with Colette. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Maybe someone to talk to? No. So it probably wouldn't be wise to do this now. Just wait for later. Oh, well, this is also a house of salvation, so you can rest up here if you want to. But I think we're good, so... Oops, sorry. Yeah, so it costs money to take this trip, so it might not be the wisest thing to do this, because we're going to have to go back here later anyway. But, this is the way I always play it, so. It's a wash tub? Yep, it's a wash so tub. So we're supposed to cross the wash, wash ocean tub. in a wash tub? Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. What's wrong, Professor Sage? N nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. It looks fun. Come on, let's get in. Yeah, Rain. Ah! <laughs> Everybody's shocked face. Professor Sage, are you afraid of water? Well, judging by that scream, it would seem so. I I was just starting to say, ah, this should be fun. Mm, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're now heading over to Thoda Geyser. This will just be a quick hit stop. Hit stop. Quick pit stop before we head to the Design Ranch and see if we can save Chocolat. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, we have another dog over here we can name. Oh, we're getting interrupted by this cutscene. Yeah, I'm sure it's just imagination. That sign is definitely not important or anything. Just completely forget about that sign. We're never gonna see anything about that again. That may or may not be sarcasm, but you'll just have to wait and see. We have another dog we can name as well. And it looks like they're giving a guide around here. You can see the spiritual statue in the background there. Yeah, the other two places she names we won't be seeing until a little bit later. Oh, I wanted to talk. No, don't, I don't want to talk. There we go. <laughs> Science is the exact same thing she is. The guide, I mean. Oh, we have an item salesman. I don't need any magic lenses, so 
I'll just skip on you. Although, do we need orange gels? I will buy two more, why not? Well, that seems easy enough. I think so 30 seconds should be plenty time. Okay, so we just have to move in the directions Genus tells us. And if you wait long enough, then you'll also get hit. Ow. It doesn't really matter if you completely listen to him. Because you still have three hits to make it through. So I'm usually not patient enough to wait around. And I think if you uh, do fall in the geyser, one of the characters will save you, and that's dependent on who your relationship is highest with. I think that's what I read. I've never actually seen it. Oh, got a skit here. Yeah, we will find out more about the Tower of Salvation later, obviously once we go there, after we release all the seals. Hmm, the Professor and Colette looked worried there for some reason. Well, now let's head back now that we got the Spiritual Statue. Rain doesn't look too happy, but we have to get back somehow. Don't want to be stranded on this island forever. Okay, so now that we've got that taken care of, we can head over to the design ranch, Palmacosta Ranch, which is just right close by, Oop. and see what we can do about rescuing Chocolat. Okay, no encounters there, that's nice. This place looks heavily guarded. Not gonna be easy getting through here. Yeah, poor marble. Oh, Neil, that's, uh, Door's assistant? Something like that. Well, what's important is that he's, uh, high up in, uh, Door's relationships, I guess. I don't know. Huh. 
Oh no! So the great governor general is actually working with the designs. Oh no. I suppose. Or we can continue to try and save uh, Chocolat even with the given dangers. Oh, crap. I keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Don't want to go through that front door with all those designs uh, roaming around out there. Yeah, it could get pretty rough. Okay, so let's go head back to door and see if we can get any more information on the ranch that'll help us go uh, and get through it. But uh, let's take a different route to back. Because we can get the long range mode unlocked for this area. I think long range. Or is there something else around here? I can't remember. I think it was just real long range that we could get around this path. That was just warming up. I don't know, I actually think there is a treasure around here somewhere. Um, is it through there? Or? I don't remember exactly where it is. Uh, I think it might be continuing on this way. That was just warming up. Uh, if it's not down this uh, path... Oh, yep, here we go. This monster would move out of the way. X gem level two. Uh, I don't have anything planned for that right now, so I'll probably just hang on to it for the time being. Almost back to Palmacosta now, and there's a monster. Come on, make it! Ah, oh, I went the wrong way. Never stood a chance. Okay, so let's actually go the right way to get the door this time. Uh, I just want to rest up at the end real quick. Yeah, we could use the healing. No, it's not 200, you liar. But I went over that uh, in a previous episode. Alright, so let's head on over to Door's office. And go see what we can learn about the Palmacosta Ranch. I can get past the column. No one here. Hmm. Well, let's go see what's going on down there.
Up oh, there's a design talking the door. When will my wife, uh, when will Clara return to her original? I guess form? it's true what Neil told us. Not yet. You still haven't paid us enough gold. You've been paying us less and less. This is the best I can do. The tolls, the municipal taxes, the offerings to the Church of Martell. There's nowhere left to squeeze more money from. Well, I suppose this'll do for today. I'm sure Lord Magnius will remove the demon seed depending on your next contribution. Father? Just a, a little while longer. Just a little more and, and Clara will be back to normal. Clara, his I'll wife? raise the fees on the pilgrimages and... What's the meaning of this? Oh, what's the matter? You look like you just saw a ghost. Um, Lloyd? That's a really cliched line. I suppose so. Shut up, Genus. What are you doing here? Neil, where's Neil? I'm afraid Neil's not here. So, Neil betrayed Yeah, but me. you betrayed your people. What's wrong with your wife? Has she been taken hostage or something? Hostage? Don't make me laugh. If you want to see my wife, she's right here. Oh no, just like Clara, or Clara, Marble. Of course it's just like Clara, that is Clara. In pain. You mustn't call her a monster. You don't mean that's right. This is what's become of my wife. Cla so that's why you told everyone she passed away. My father, the previous governor general, was a fool. Because of his defiant stance against the designs, they killed him. Then planted the demon seed in my wife as a warning. If I cooperate with them, they will give me the medicine to save her. But. That means you're betraying the people of this city! What do I care? We'll never escape the rule of the Desions anyway. Colette will. The Chosen will save the world. The Chosen's journey of world regeneration is not absolute. Don't forget that the last one ended in failure. Besides, the people of this city are satisfied with my way. They just don't know I'm working for the Desions. Shut up. What do you mean, your way? I'm sorry about your wife. But think of all those people who believed in you, only to be sent off to the ranch. Any of them may have wound up just like your wife. Silence, boy! Stop acting like your justice is absolute. Where do you get off? Don't even start spewing the word justice! I hate that word! If you wanted to save your wife, you should have resigned your position as Governor General and searched for a cure, or help, or whatever. You're a worthless jerk who couldn't give up his social status even for his own wife. Lloyd, please stop. Not everyone's strong enough to stand up against the designs. Please stop this. Colette. What if we go and get the medicine you mentioned? Yeah, I suppose that could work. Then you wouldn't have to side with the designs anymore. You... Forgive me for what I've done? It's not our place to forgive you. That's up to the people of this city. But I know Martel will forgive you. The goddess Martel is always within you, awaiting your own personal regeneration. Within me? Absurd! Uh, what do you mean by that? How could you kill- what? The goddess Martel would never lend her aid to an inferior human- Inferior being? Where have we heard that before? What are you doing? How could you do that to your own father? Uh-oh. I am a servant of Konima, leader of the five grand oh. who rule over the Yep, the designs. I was merely assigned to observe the new human cultivation technique. Developed by Magnus, there's no way that a superior half-elf such as I could have a fool of a father like this. A uh, fool of a father? Just look at him. He didn't even notice that his own daughter was dead. Because he was too busy chasing after medicine that doesn't exist in order to save his monster wife. <laughs> you. How could you? All right, so let's do this then. This is an honor. Okay, so let me set up unison tech right quick. Uh, I think I want to have Colette Angel Feathers, definitely. Um, let's give Kratos Sonic Thrust. I'll go ahead and show off. Uh, now that I'll switch to Sonic Thrust just temporarily here. 
Oh, let's uh, use magic lens as well. Yeah, so she's weak to light. Acid rain, that's going to lower everyone's defense. Okay, so if you do two sonic thrusts, you can do cross thrust. And let me switch Lloyd back to Beast. I don't really like Beast because it knocks uh, enemy down. When an enemy is knocked down, they have double defense as if they were in overdrive. Oh, same uh, for human controlled characters. So yeah, it's quite a bit more health than what we fought before, and also a lot more powerful. So want to be careful with this battle. Don't let yourself. She also has powerful magic attacks. Um, hopefully she won't use any of them, but that's probably a bit uh, too much to ask for. Not giving her too much chance to attack thus far. So that's nice. Just guard against her spark bolt and you'll be fine. If you're not guarding, you're gonna take a lot of damage from that, however. Yeah, right, right there. That was a lot of damage. It's okay, so almost got her to half. Once she hits half, she goes into another form. This is the form that's gonna start using her magic. also guard a whole bunch more. That attack too also hurts. Uh, hopefully Kratos will heal me up soon. Genus is out of TP. Uh, let's give him a lemon, or Colette's out of uh, TP. Let's give her a lemon gel so she doesn't die. One of those lemon gels we won back at Izul. Coming in handy. Wow, we almost have enough for another unison attack. We're almost there. She hasn't used her uh, magic attack yet. I'm surprised. She hasn't even charged up for it. Oh, we have another unison attack. Uh, so I can show off another combination. Uh, even though I really want to use Angel Feathers again. Let's just... Um... Yeah, let's just have, uh, Colette use Pow Hammer. Gotta remember, uh... I need to switch back to Sonic Thrust temporarily again. Okay. Oh, I think, uh... Crap, I did that wrong. Oh, well, I meant to, uh... Yeah, if you do, um... Uh, If you do a multiple, if you unlock a multiple combination attacks, then you'll do whichever one was added in last. Now she's getting some heavy attacks right there. I think she always had that, but she just wasn't guarding, so it's dealing a lot more damage than to me guarding. As long as Kratos is back there healing, we'll be fine. Almost got her. This should finish. Oh, no, so close. One more hit. There we go. Not too bad of battle. No one died. I got pretty close to dying there. Oh, Rain learned sharpness. That is a buffing technique that um, raises attack for a short while during battle. Fine. Then I'll set this monster free and let it kill you. We, we can't fight this one like we killed Marble. No, not again. Do I have to kill another innocent victim? Looks like Dora is still alive, but not much. Stop! Well, that seemed to have stopped Wait. her for some reason. Is Kelia safe? Kelia is... Don't worry. It seems your real daughter is fine. Lloyd! I see. You. I your name's Lloyd? Yeah. Professor Sage, please! How yeah, we have. She has first aid help technique. She can help him. No good? Please. 
Please save Chocolat, that poor girl. She was just used as a tool to lure you out. Okay, so Door has given us the card key to enter the design the base. Code is three, three, four, and one. he also gives us a passcode. Got it. And I know this is a selfish request, but if you somehow find a way to save my wife, please help her return to her human form. When my daughter comes back, I don't want her to be all alone. Yeah, sure, we'll save your wife. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Let's get going. Kratos! How can you just say that? Settle down, Lloyd. What is it that we must do we have now? have to save Chocolat, of course. Rescue Chocolat. Then defeat Magnius, the leader of this region. Exactly. Yeah, I know. You're right, I'm sorry. Let's go, Lloyd. Let's defeat the Yeah, alright. My healing arts cannot even save one single life. Professor Sage, did you say something? No, it's nothing. Okay, so that calls it for this episode. And in the, in the next episode, we will head over to the Palma Coast and Ranch and go save Chocolat. So I'll see you in the next episode.